Hi everyone. So there is one religion out there today that really motivates their followers to behead, murder and enslave unbelievers. That religion is Islam. Not Christianity, not Judaism, not even Buddhism, just Islam. You know it, I know it, and everybody who knows what's going on in the world knows it. The Quran repeatedly commands Muslims to uh, sorry, to engage jihad, whether they actually like it or not. The Quran, if you were to read it, completely and repeatedly tells Muslims to kill unbelievers, to strike their heads, and to really continue in jihad until everyone submits to Allah. You know it if you read your books. I know it and everybody who actually knows how to even read knows it because they can see it for themselves. Now, according to Islam, as we know, Muhammad is the example everyone should look at to really live their lives and even wage jihad. He, Muhammad, regularly killed and beheaded unbelievers. He made slaves of the people he conquered. He even raped little girls or let's just, let's just say he raped Aisha, his supposed wife, when she was nine years old. I'm going to call it rape because let's call it what it is. He founded a religion that such behavior is kind of looked upon as normal, as something great because the prophet did it. And look, of course not all Muslims engage in that behavior, but, and you know, thankfully we should be actually happy about that. But that is not to say that Islamic scripture doesn't allow it because fact is Islamic scripture actually does command and even condone such behavior and we need to really be honest with ourselves and Muslims need to be honest with themselves as well however it just simply means that some Muslims that aren't taking part in it aren't really taking Islam very seriously however there are Muslims out there that are definitely and absolutely taking it very seriously Jihadis across the globe who are murdering, enslaving, beheading, raping because they can, because the Quran tells them to. It condones it. And what's worse is they are funded by Saudi Arabia and Iran. And to me, as offensive as it is, the idea, the ideology of Islam is pure evil. And the people who are committing such atrocities are pure evil as well. And I think also the people who are kind of people, and I mean Muslims even included, who are whitewashing it, who are whitewashing the evils that are happening, are to me quite evil as well. Because they are kind of taking part in advancing this really horrible nightmare if you want to call it that and I think we who know better should actually speak out I think keeping silent on the matter you know kind of whitewashes the actual whitewasher and that shouldn't really be the case and uh, I've said on a number of occasions well especially in my first video that <clears throat> excuse me that I don't have a problem with Muslims per se. Like I said, most of them are genuine and sincere in their worship. Because I feel that they think they are following and being obedient to the true God. My problem has always been Islam, what it says in the Quran, and the Prophet. I, in my previous videos, I kind of touched upon it. But since yesterday, I have been getting a couple of threats. Not that I'm worried too much about it, it's just that the threats, the people that threatened, 
I just look at them and I'm like thinking you don't even practice your own religion properly I mean I can understand if like a radical was to threaten me but even that I, well, I don't know, it's weird because why do people, well obviously Muslims, even care that people don't believe? I just, yeah, I find it weird and odd. I mean, not that I find it weird and odd, but why waste so much energy? I suppose they think now because, you know, I'm not a Muslim anymore and you know, I believe in Yeshua that I'm going to hell and I suppose I guess they all kind of think that but I think people need to be more preoccupied with themselves and their eternity and their beliefs instead of threatening me because I have different beliefs now I understand that I'm offending them in telling them what I believe and what my thoughts are on the religion but I also don't like the hypocrisy either you know you can play the victim all you want all you want but most of you hate Christians and Jews you hate unbelievers you call them pigs dogs and that's okay but God forbid someone says anything negative about you and your beliefs and your religion. You need to work on your double standard. You do. You can say out in public, you don't want, you know, you, sorry, you can say in public that you don't hate the Jews, you're all peaceful, it's all puppies and unicorns, but it's not. Because I know for a fact that most radicals, at least, I'm not talking about the moderates, can smile to your face tell you how peaceful they are, how they love you, but behind your back they're talking crap about you and how they're going to murder you one day, I suppose, when they come to power, when Sharia law is enforced. So, yeah, I think I'm annoyed because, at least for now, the people that have threatened me have never opened up the Quran. It's more like, I'm just a Muslim, I love Islam, I love Allah. So I'm going to give you crap for it, for leaving or talking about Islam and I think that's very hypocritical because even you, are, even you are a hypocrite according to the Quran. So if you're going to judge me or, oh my god, you're offending my religion or you're offending my beliefs, then at least practice your religion first and do not bother me. Do not, I mean, judge me all you want, I don't care. I never really cared what people thought of me anyway, but... I'm annoyed because you're a hypocrite and you need to work on yourself too and yeah and I was reading through the Bible today and I kind of took comfort in a couple of verses one was Matthew 10 22 it said you will be hated by everyone because of me but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved and I actually got a message from a family friend as well yesterday wanting to speak to me about Islam and kind of debate but really speak to me about Islam and try and convert me back sort of thing. Um, they offered to teach me about Islam like I didn't already know and told me how, you know, Yeshua is just a man. Why am I following him? And uh, other things were said, but I said to them, Muhammad's just a man, and yet you follow him. You love him. You kill for him. I mean, someone just offends Muhammad in the slightest, and you guys are making such a big, huge thing and the guy's dead. Yeshua lives. He's alive. Yeah. So I really don't mind being hated. But 
yeah, I think Muslims need to really think before they talk as well, I think. You can't say, and one of the things that was said yesterday was, oh yes, you know, Yeshua or Jesus, as they said, is good, he's a good prophet, but Muhammad was so much better, and... Come on, was he? Even you, you know, reading the Hadith. I mean, I think even some Muslims, if they're really honest with themselves, you know, when they read the Hadith, I mean, you can say, oh my God, how could you say this about Islam? Or how could you say this about Muhammad or Allah? But I think most Muslims, at least moderates, if you're really honest with yourself, you too can just sit there and say, you know what, this sounds a bit odd. And I think even some Muslims who aren't practicing, they probably don't even believe half the things. It's just that I have the guts to actually say it out loud. Whereas you're just keeping quiet, pretending you're still a good Muslim or a Muslim in general. Yeah, I think mm, it's it's funny. I think it's funny. It's funny. And yeah, like I said, I don't mind being hated. I'm quite happy with what I believe. And I think if you're really content, Muslims, and if you're really happy about your religion as well, and you believe it's truth, you should not be wanting to kill apostates or threaten them or yeah I think you should just let every, uh, everyone believe what they believe even if you know they have different beliefs and let it go um, and like I said, the reason I'm doing these videos, especially about Islam, even though I started off with just my testimony, was because I wanted to let people know at least how I'm feeling and what my thoughts are and what made me leave. And those are my opinions and my beliefs, and I have a right to them. Just like you also have opinions about Jews and Christians and the Torah and the Gospels and how you think, you know, it's corrupted. You know, we're, we are all going to answer to God, you know, on our own. And now, like I said, I know you think I'm going to hell, but no, I'm not. And, but you should be more worried about yourself. And like I said, your eternity, instead of worrying too much about me. Um... And so yeah, the second 